If you want to quicken your decision making during the Charleston and you have a Mahjong set at home, you can do an exercise that I call Charleston Sprints. It's a great way to build your confidence with quick decision making. You, if you are a beginner, make those decisions in under four minutes. If you're intermediate, three minutes, and if you're advanced, two minutes. If you're a beginner and intermediate player, you can always push yourself into those other thresholds to improve that decision making. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do these sprints. So we're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. We're just going to say we're the dealer for these, so I'm going to get 14 tiles. There's my mock Charleston. Right across left, left across right. Okay, we're ready to go. Okay, we've got jokers. Northwest, one, two, four, six, three, five, seven, eight, nine, or seven, eight, five, seven, eight. So I'm thinking I want to build around the ones. One, one, three, five, maybe, one, two, three, four, consecutive run. So I'm going to keep one, two, three, four, one, which includes little odds. Let's break these up right now and pass these three. If you get a joker, just exchange it. We got a flower. So I'm thinking one, three, five. Let's keep that dragon and pass these three. Okay, we got a flower. Maybe we could play a year hand. So now we have to pick a hand because we ran out of discards. We only have one. So we have flowers, one, two, four. I think we can give up the four, five. Let's focus on maybe a year hand or one, two, three, four, maybe. We can get rid of these three. Let's change it. We have tiles we can pass. Okay, we got a dragon. Here's a three. One, two, three. Maybe we could use this dragon here. We've got all the dragons at this point. Let's get rid of these three and work on one suit. Maybe we could even switch to like numbers if we get a one. There's another flower. So we have north two. We have a one, two. I'm thinking we probably can give up the three. Dragons, we've got dragons. There's a one. One, we've got a four, six. I'm thinking like numbers. Ooh, I would not pass that. Like numbers with ones. We've got flowers. I think I would break this up. Oopsies, that's not going to be helpful. That's going to add on to my time. Okay, let's pass these three. Okay, lap. Okay, so we have four discards. I would say probably like numbers with flowers. And yeah, I would throw those away first. Or yeah, because of these flowers, I want to leverage those. I think that's what I would do. Like numbers with flowers. I think I would probably throw these all away first and focus on like numbers with flowers. If you would have done something different, write that in the comment section. Let's do sprint two. Okay, I'm thinking year hand. We even have multiples with the year tiles. This would be the last year hand under the year category. So let's see how this goes. No keepers really. Let's go ahead and pass these three.
That's a keeper. We need news. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Green draw. Oh, there's an eight. We only need two eights though. So we have 2,008 news. We don't need the flower. Let's pass these three. That's a little risky, but this hand is almost set actually. We got the two. We only need two twos though. So we need the multiples in here. Let's pass these three. There's flower. Yeah, that's not going to be helpful. I would not pass flower. I'd pass one blind. Okay, so we have two tiles to pass. I would not pass a flower. I would say two and pass one blind. All right, three, four discards. We have two discards and joker bait. And then here we can use this in here. We have northeast, south, so we need a west. We've got the pair of twos and eights. All we need are jokers or white dragons and one bams. So I think that went pretty well, actually. I would hold these for until the end of the third wall and then I would I would get rid of these before the end of the third wall, but I would discard those first and see how it goes. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write sprint two in the comment section and what you would do differently. Let's do sprint three. Okay, so if we're going to build around multiples, which I think is the strongest way to begin and hold flowers to you, we have sixes. We could play east and west with sixes. We could play three, six, nine. I think that might be good. Uh, let's pass one of each suit right here. Okay, three, six, nine or sixes east, west with sixes. We've got some gaps though. We have no six dot or six bam. Let's see here. Either way, it's gonna be risky. Let's pass those three. Okay, we've got a, maybe we could play a quint. Let's pass these three. Three, six, nine or a quint. East, pair, quint. We've got a pair, pair. Pair, pair. Uh, we have to give something up. I'm not going to pass a flower. We are going to continue the Charleston. I think we should just pick one. I don't want to pass like numbers. I'm going to give up one of the wins. Okay, we have tiles we can pass. And we have tiles we can pass. Let's make that a little better. North and South. I think I would hold the winds probably. We have, maybe we'll get the West back. Let's see. I think I would pass these three, get a full pass. If you're playing a big hand, it's okay to pass risky tiles. Okay, lap. All right, so yeah, that didn't go too well this time around. Um, so, I think what I would do is prioritize discards, but I would stick with a quint. I think I would probably hold the dragon or the flower and the nine bam because we could maybe play the three six nine hand with the dragons if the quint didn't come in. We still have four tiles we could discard before we had to make a decision. I would probably hold the south as an option if the east goes down before I'm ready to claim it for a quint. I would discard the 2-8 first because that belongs with the big ear hand and I like to try to sabotage that hand just in case someone's trying to play the big hand and then I would throw the 9. So that's the way I would play these tiles. If you would do something different, write sprint 3 in the comment section and what you would do differently. Let's see how things went with timing. Let's see how things went with timing. I'm afraid I went over. Sprint one, two minutes and 41 seconds. 
sprint two, one minute 44, and sprint three was two minutes and nine seconds. I don't even need to calculate it, I'm over. So I need to practice more. I need to do more sprints. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know how it goes for you. Especially let me know if it helps you with your confidence during the Charleston. That's the whole purpose. And of course, to make quicker decisions during the Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.